I am Chalfant and this is Chalfant TV. What's up everybody, I'm Chalfant and welcome to Chalfant TV. Go ahead and crush that like button for this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those notifications so you're alerted when new videos pop up. Yesterday's video I reacted to V's amazing vocals and today is going to be the first of three parts of documentaries about V. And this first video is in that series that I haven't watched yet. Uh, on this channel or on our other channel, Brothers from Another Color, by BTS Gadarson. Gadarson. I feel like I've learned so much about V through his music and just the interpretation that I get from his music. And I know that BTS doesn't always give explanations about the music that they create, which is great from a fan experience. It's always so interesting to read through the comments when people are so sure about the meaning of the song, but BTS has never told us exactly what it means. So I find that interesting, but but today I'm going to start learning more about V and hopefully learn more about who he is as a person. Let's go ahead and get into it. I didn't know they had created a song called Boy In Love. I was beginning to question my understanding of the Boy With Love song, so it's interesting to see that. I'm going to rewind since I didn't have the closed captioning on. In a cool way. Lex. That's interesting. I remember that in a different video on our other channel, how someone went to audition and V was there just to watch, and they were like, Why don't you audition too? And then he was the one who was picked. <laughs> J-Hope. I want to rewind just so we see J-Hope's face. Look. <laughs> 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 
you. Oh, so I like that. Um. All right, now let's do it from. Push it out. Push the sound out. And then, what I like, you have my attention. I want to hear more. Oh, they didn't know. That always has to be interesting that people are producing things for you based on your voice, which I think is a good thing. You know, there there are things that you don't know about yourself that others might see, which is kind of flattering in itself. But then there is also the desire to create something and say that, you know what, I was the one who created that. Not in a non-humble or a hun in humble way. That doesn't really sound right, but um, not in that way. Just, I think there's more satisfaction around your artistry when you create something, you produce something, and then you put it out yourself. And then to hear RM say that, I, I could, I felt like I could see that on V's face, uh, similar to how Jin is, where he's trying to accept a compliment and he's kind of like. <laughs> That explains scenery with the camera. That's interesting that he brought up a lot that he watches a lot of old movies because we've always said that he has a song that transcends time. And now I'm wondering if he does not his voice, but if he does a lot of things the way he dresses and stuff like that, if he does that to imitate different parts of time. <laughs> That's a struggle. I just got to say, it's interesting now to be in a place where I'm watching a documentary and I know the songs that are popping up. You know, I'm still Baby Army, but just wanted to mention that's a different kind of feeling. Mm -hmm. 
haven't listened to this one. Of course that comes up when I say that. I have to listen to it now. It's going to turn into a V month, birthday month. So that's at least the second or third time I've seen that. Um, on our other channel, we reacted to a few videos about Jimin. And Jimin described uh, J Hope or Hobie as uh, Hobie Hyung. And I'm wondering in Korean culture, when you describe someone by their name and they're older than you, do you add that to the end? So let me know in the comments if that's true. When we like, sometimes we have vacation and you know don't see each other for like a week. And he say he he already miss like each other. Oh, 어떤 면에서는 가장 섹시하지 않은가? 의외로 굉장히 저 발상이 굉장히 신선하다. 자기가 생각하는 게 모든 것들이 다 사차원이고 또 자기가 우주 대스타라고 생각을 하고 있는. 실제 형이랑 비슷한 느낌이에요. 그런 거 약간 비슷해. 약간 저게 뭔가 비슷하다가 나온 거 같아. 저는 왜이 캐릭터를 만들었냐면. I was wondering if it was B21. BT21. I'm Pama. The way RM looks, where he's like, uh, he doesn't agree with him, or Tay's talking about somebody else, and RM's kind of like someone better in this situation. Well, that makes sense because I think if up to that point he wasn't producing or writing songs himself, I guess they could say he wasn't taking initiative if that is the right way to phrase it. Um, and when you start doing that, you know, you, you do become a different person and you kind of, that enables you to create all of these songs by yourself and create your own individual following of people who already follow BTS, but then, you know, V becomes their bias or whatever it might be. Definitely got to react to the song. So I was actually hoping that through that documentary that I was going to be able to learn more about him as a person uh, in his background, but obviously that documentary was created as a way to learn more about him as a musician and as an artist. And it is two years old at this point. That's why it's important to venture out and listen to some of the other documentaries that are out as well. Go ahead and crush that like button for this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those notifications so you're alerted when I post new videos. Thanks for joining me. I am Xiaofan, and this is Xiaofan TV. And as Jimin says, you nice, keep going. <laughs>